In a lot of Apple's apps and controls, when you stop dragging something, there is a bit of a deceleration as it finishes moving. Think about scrolling a web view, for example. It's common to want to have this type of behavior in your apps. There are many ways of achieving this kind of effect, but here's what you'll be doing in this video. You'll detect when a pan ends, figure out how fast the touch was moving, and animate the panned view to a final destination based on that speed. In the last video, we went over how you hook up a method to a gesture recognizer, and that it can potentially be called multiple times, when the recognizer changes its state to began, changed, or ended, for example. You'll only want to trigger deceleration when the state is ended. That's easy enough to figure out. A gesture recognizer has a state property which returns an enumeration value. Some gesture recognizers return additional information. For example, UI pan gesture recognizers have a handy function named velocity in view, which is just what you need. At the end of viewcontroller.swift's handle pan method, make sure that the pan gesture recognizer just ended. Then you'll need to get a vector to the final point. More about vectors versus points in a moment. To start, you'll need the gesture's velocity. Option clicking on velocity, you can see that the return value is a CG point. If you're up on your mathematics game, you'll recognize that a velocity really ought to be a vector, not a point. A point has two coordinates, and so does a vector. But a point's coordinates represent a location. For a vector, those coordinates represent a combination of direction and speed. For example, the vector from the origin, 0, 0, to a point has the same coordinates as that point. Core Graphics does actually have a vector type, CG vector. It also has CG size. CG point, CG vector, and CG size all encapsulate two CG floats, one for each of two dimensions. In theory, that could be useful. Maybe you'd want the type system to keep you from mixing and matching them. But in practice, it's kind of a pain to always have to convert them. As you've seen with velocity, Apple disregards CG vector in favor of CG point in some circumstances, because it's easier to just use CG point for points, vectors, and sometimes sizes. So you have that option too, and we'll be choosing it for simplicity. Just be aware that a point, vector, and size are not the same concepts, even though their data takes the same shape. And a warning, this is the part of the course where we start to get into vector math. If you're out of practice, it may take you a little longer to understand this code, but past this video, we're hardly going to get any more complex. Vector to final point is a good name for what you'll be using that velocity for. But the velocity is going to be a little too long for the deceleration method we'll be using, so shorten it up by dividing its components by 15. Changing that value will alter how far you can toss the image views before they come to rest. And you don't want to be able to throw them to a place that you can't interact with them again, that is, outside the safe area. To get a CG rect that represents the safe area, you can inset the superviews bounds by the safe area insets. The function to do that, UI Edge Insets Inset Rect, doesn't look like Swift, but it works. Now let's calculate the final point for the recognizer's view. Later in this part, you'll write some extensions to make this easier on yourself, but for now, start off with the view center in a new variable. Then add the x and y from vector to final point. To clamp those values within the safe area, you can use a combination of min and max operations. No, it's not that easy to read, but UIKit doesn't provide anything nicer. You should make sure you can wrap your mind around the calculation, but we'll make it easier to read in the last few videos in the part. For now, do the same kind of operation for Y.
And with that, you've got your final point to animate to. You'll be basing the duration of the animation on the length of vector to final point. To calculate that, you'll need to use the Pythagorean theorem, the square root of the dot product of a vector and itself. We think dividing the length by 1800 results in a pretty good looking duration. The delay won't be useful, but easing out the animation will seem somewhat more physically plausible. And of course, the animation itself is to move the recognizer view center to the final point. Build and run to try it out. For mostly relying on UIKit's animation API, this deceleration is pretty nice. 